Welcome to another flash review video by Deviant Fun, and today we bring you Judge Dread Control by Rob Williams and Chris Weston. So this is highly recommended by Garth Innes. <laughs> Once again, Garth Innes. Uh, and it's a compilation of stories. Uh, ones that will enable you to get to know Judge Dredd and other judges um, and how the city works and etc. Even if you don't know Judge Dredd, I wouldn't say this is the ideal starting point, but you won't feel lost at all uh, whilst reading this. So, uh, the first two stories, uh, which comprise an arch, or an arc, uh, is Who Judges the Judges. So Rob Williams follows up his smash hit Judge Red The Small House with a brand new compendium of Big Mag stories, each drawn by Chris Weston. Judge Pin, a psychopathic cis judge, murders officers that, that fall short of the her strict standards and Judge Dredd is in her sights. It's judge versus judge in a battle to the death. Flesh-eating clags, hijacking ape gangs, out-of-control war robots and insane accountants all feature in this exciting new collection. And it, this is all true. Yeah, I've read it. There's, there's ape gangs and raging accountants. With tales ranging from the deathly serious to the outrageously funny, this book showcases the madness, the madness of mega city life. Yeah, like I said, it's a good book to get the vibe of, of what mega city is. And this takes place after, uh, in, in, in terms of, chrono uh, of chronology, this takes place after the chaos bug uh, incident. Uh, which was a devastated virus created by the East Mag 1 agents in retaliation for Judge Dredd destroying their city over 30 years before in the Apocalypse War, another event, another Judge Dredd event. The virus was unleashed, unleashed upon the unsuspecting, unsuspecting citizens of Mega City 1, turning the infected citizens into rage-filled Killing machi machines. Judge Dredd and the Justice Department were unprepared for the ensuing carnage and anarchy, and although they managed to regain control, it came at a great cost. Only 50 million of the 400 million population survived, and great swaths of the city were destroyed. Now the city has returned somewhat to normal, but the scars of the chaos bug remain. So, if you know a bit of Judge Dredd, uh, well, there are some ugly covers, but Judge Dredd is known for great artwork, and uh, this is no exception. So you've got this sci-fi uh, punk uh, theme to it. Uh, like it said here, the judge of, who judges the judges, this is the evil judge. Uh, the one that uh, decides to kill uh, whoever she thinks is not worthy and she will turn uh, against uh, against Judge Dredd too, like it says in the summary. So I'm not revealing any uh, anything that the summary doesn't give you. Uh, so, but uh, during the, the the book you'll see some of Judge Dredd's companions, uh, some of them will be lost, there will be recruits also facing dangers and perhaps dying in the process. But this uh, first uh, story arc is one of the most interesting because uh, Judge... Uh, how is it called? Pi? No. Uh, Pin. Pin is a really psychic psychopath uh, person that you'll uh, love to hate. She's really hateful. Uh, yeah, and that really um, brings something to the story. Then there are other stories after that, after Judge Red gets rid of uh, Judge Pin or Pim, uh, and one of them is heartwarming and funny which is this one, the heart is a lonely clag hunter. So this clag, this alien, 
uh, is from a race known by their aggressiveness and they are predators for human beings but is not uh, like his kind is very friendly he loves reading he loves culture he loves everything about our civilization but it, but he doesn't get seem to fit uh, anywhere so we'll see him having uh, flash dates and things like that and they end up always funny uh, people will try to murder him and he won't even understand that he's being targeted because he's so naive and he so much wants to be part of the society so that's one of the hilarious stories more hu humorous then we have the Boxing Day which is also a very uh, weird um, concept it's also hilarious so they decide that to put crime down they should give some bonuses uh, on a certain day for everyone who would behave but that goes awfully wrong then we have the elevator pitch the high society decides that they're too good to be around the rest of the people so they decide to create a high-tech elevator with all the commodities and uh, elevate themselves not only metaphorically but physically from the rest of the populace and that's where the ape gang comes comes up of course judge dread will have to save the situation uh yeah he and his and some and the companion uh and then am i skipping we've got cadet dread versus Gradzilla. this has some humor in it for sure uh, uh this is um well <laughs> It's it's a parody to to uh, filmmaking and those actors that really get into into uh, into character, right? So this guy transplanted his brain into a genetically modified giant lizard so that it could really be a giant lizard in the movie, but he goes berserk at the middle of the of the movie so uh shit happens and it has to be solved and it's solved in a, in a funny way too so we've got some covers here in the in the in the finale look at this this gorgeous art incredible we've got judge judge pin here nasty looking woman the ape gang and some undead grabbing judge dread there so uh i really enjoyed this book uh i'm not a big judge dread connoisseur uh so uh i can say that you can jump into this book uh, without knowing judge dread at all and you'll still enjoy it and will crave for more adventures at least that's what happened to me uh, um, that's what I intend to do, get more Judge Dredd into my life. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's all I wanted to say. You can find this and many other books at deviantfun.biz. That's our online shop uh, where you can find thousands of titles ready to, to order. Uh, but we can get virtually any book that's on the market because we deal with one of the largest distributors of books not only comics in the world so yeah if there's a way to get it they'll get it it may take more or less time but uh, they'll get it and even things that are uh, away from the big retailers uh, many times they can still get it uh, okay if you like these videos and you've been following up the channel I uh, would much appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button uh, and the like video, leave comments, whatever, help the channel grow. Uh, visit us at Facebook or Instagram if you wish to. And that's it. So stay well, stay happy, have excellent reads and try some Judge Dread. Put some Judge Dread on your life because it's well, well worth it. 
So, until the next video, Deviant Fun out in 3, 2, 1. Bye-bye.